Okay. Good evening, everyone. Hello once again. Uh, my name is Jatin, and uh, today I am also going to cover one topic over here as a part of our Thursday webinar session. So to get started with this Thursday webinar session, today what I am going to cover is I am going to cover a sorting with Python. Now, how to basically do the sorting with Python? Sorting you always knows that sorting is basically means that you want to sort something uh, based on uh, ascending and descending criteria. It can be a numbers or it can be the strings or it can be a combination of multiple things together. Now before I just proceed into the sorting with Python, you should know a couple of things before I proceed. So these things I think you already get comfortable with because this is a random session we have. So what we should know before to basically do the sorting using Python. Now we should know about what is list, what is dictionary. Oh, my spellings are always bad. What is dictionary? I can also say what is a list functions, what is a built-in functions. So these things I should know before I can you know do a sorting with Python. So I I am I'm quite sure that you are quite comfortable with these topics. Now let's get started with the sorting with Python. Now I'm going to do the sorting with the help of a numbers first and later on I can proceed with different concepts available over there with sorting of a string, sorting of a combinations of a various data structures together and how we can proceed doing this. The first thing is sorting using Python can be done. So this is my ideally session. So I'm going to do all the programming over here. So sorting can be done with two different ways in fact. One I can use, so I define a list over here. Let's say I define a list over here which contains couple of elements. No, I, I take a random elements in fact. Uh, let's say 2, 10 and I say 11, 20, let's say 12. Okay, these are the multiple elements I have. Now this is basically a list, so I can check it out. The type of list one is, this is a list I have. The list contains various kind of functions, so I can check it out that the sorting function is also available over there. So if I say dir of list, I can able to see the sort function over here. So the first general criteria we have, if I try to sort a list, I have to utilize it uh, existing function which is called as a sort over here. Now we are going to explore this sort function more. Apart from this, I also have the function called as sorted. Now this sorted is also used to do the sorting. Now this is a built-in function, so with the help of a sorted you can try to sort in fact any iterable. It is not compulsory that it should be a list, it can be a dictionary, it can be a tuple, it can be uh, any other iterable as well. So let's get started doing this activity. So let's say if I have a list over here, so I'm, I'm going to discuss about both the uh, things over here. One is with the help of sort, another one with the help of sorted. Now let's say I have a list over here. Now I want to sort this up. So what I can simply do is, I say list one dot sort. So as sort is a function which is associated with the list, so I can simply say list dot sort and I give the brackets over there. Now this is doing the activity in place, so it means that my list one got modified itself. I just wanted to print that and I can see the elements have been sorted. So that's quite interesting that we can directly sort uh, the values. We can directly sort the values which is in a, in a piece of a string. Now let's say if I want to do in a reverse way. Now here it is doing in a I think ascending order. So let's say if I want to do in a descending order how we can proceed further. For this, what I do is I take the help page of this sort function. So I say list one dot sort. This is the help of a sort function. Now in sort function, I have a couple of things available. CMP is one of them. Key is another parameter, and reverse is another parameter. Now, as I want to do it in a descending order, so what I need to do is I need to say reverse equals to two. So I need to set this particular parameter itself. So how we do that? So I say list one dot sort, and I say reverse equals to two. That's it. So what it does, it modify the list one itself. And now I have the sorted element in a reverse order. So that's what we can do easily with the help of a numbers. The things little bit complicated when when this is not a common, the list is not a combination of a numbers. The list is a combination of various uh, strings together or maybe different data structures here. Let's say if we define a list here, now this list contains few elements. 
So I take few elements over here. Let's say I take Akash. Okay. And I say, again, I, I take a random over here. So I take Amit. I take Akash again. And I take Ajay. And I take any, any other name. Let's say uh, Amit, for example, I take this element. Okay. Now this, I have a list one. Now I want to sort this up. Now sorting this up means I am expecting that the Akash should come first or maybe this Akash come first followed by the characters, whatever we have available over here. Now if I do the sorting, let's say I just try to do the sorting, I say list one dot sort and my work is done. Now if I try print, I can see the different values. Now what exactly happened here? What exactly happened here? I'm expecting this Akash come first, should come first, but this Akash is coming at the very third indexes available in my list. What, what exactly happened here? So the, the Python does the sorting based on the ASCII value. So as we know, the ASCII value of small a is 97 and the ASCII value of capital A is 65. So definitely this comes first and this comes second. And that's the only thing happened over here. So just try to compare each and every element over here of this particular string with the ASCII value of other. So as the ASCII value of capital A is lesser than the value of the cap, cap, uh, small a, that's why this Akash come first, then Ajay come second, then Amit come third. But if I want to do it in a differ, different way, okay, now what, what my requirement is, my requirement is, I don't want to follow this ASCII order. What I need to follow is, I need to follow the order, which, which is more alphabetically. Now, alphabetically. Now, what does it mean that I want to sort this particular list alphabetically, not an ASCII values? So if I want to sort this up, how exactly I can do that? To sort this up, what I need to do is, I need to use the parameters which is available inside my list function. So what are the different parameters? I have CMP as well as I have key. CMP is normally used for numbers and key is used for any other things as well. So how this key works actually I just wanted to tell you up. So the parameter name is key. What this key holds? Key normally holds a function and it can be a built-in function, it can be a class function, it can be a, uh, uh, I can say, a, a user-defined function or it can be any module function, anything, but it should always holds a function. It can also be a lambda function. So I hope that you already are aware of a lambda function till now. It can be a lambda function as well. So how exactly it works? So this holds a parameter called as function. It can be any kind of function. Now I know that if I, so how, how exactly it works? So I, I put into multiple steps. So step number one, let's say if I have, so I, before, before I go to these steps, let me try to print this up. So I say list one dot sort and I say over here key equals to and I give what you can do is you can use the built-in function of a string class and your work is done. Now let me explain you how I did this. So this key is basically a parameter and what this key does, key is trying to fetch each and every element of my list, each and every element of my list. So it fetch it out. So I say fetch each and every element of my list. So quickly say it fetch, what it fetch? It fetch Akash first, then it fetch Amit one by one, it fetch this Akash I have, it fetch Ajay and it fetch Amit. This is my original element so I take the original element over here. I'm not considering that I have already sorted down but let's take initial step. So it fetch it out each and every element then what second step it does it it apply the function on these elements, on these elements. So what it does, it apply the function on each and every element. So let's say what the function we have applied over here, we say string dot upper. It means I want to convert a string into upper case. That's what I want over here. So it become Akash, it become Amit, it become Akash again it become Ajay and it become Amit. So this is my second step. It apply the function on each and every element of a set. A third one is, third step is, it does the sorting. 
and everything is happening internally it does the sorting now once the sorting will happen how the sorting will happen over here in this case this Akash come first that's a way I can have then this Akash come second and this Ajay come third A, A B C D you can try it out then your Amit come next and at last your Amit comes this is how it performs the sorting now can we say that it's just like uh, the alphabetically sorting not ASCII value sorting and the step 4 it returns the original element associated with it original element associated with the above list here so what is this Akash is associated with Akash is associated with Akash here we go or next one I have it is associated with Amit let's put it oh no this Akash or this Akash hold let's say this Akash holds this much or maybe I can put it over here not like Akash followed by what next Ajay Ajay is associated with here we go Ajay the original element then Amit I put Amit and last one is Amit and this is how I get the result out of it so this key parameter becomes so important in this particular case because it apply all these steps internally I hope it makes sense now <coughs> I, I just wanted to make it a little bit complicated over here let's say I, think I have a list called as employee which contains these elements so I put like this this contain a data structure this data structure okay now let's say I put like this I say here Jatin let's say 35 I say Akash let's say 24 I say Mahesh let's say 28 and let's say Amit I say Amit is okay I have let's say 21 now now this is a combination of I can say this is list of list I have list of list I have now what my intention over here my intention is I want to sort this down this particular list based on based on their age now now this become a little bit complicated now I want to sort this element based on its age not on its name name so important thing is I want to sort on this parameter this parameter this parameter so I want to sort them out maybe in a ascending order in which I want this particular element first then this one then this one and then this one okay so that's my target so I go back over here now again as I know that I have to apply lambda over here I have to use a key over here so exactly I can start so what important thing over here is I need to fetch it out these elements out of it so these elements out of if I can able to fetch it out these element out of this using my key function rest of rest of the work will be done automatically by the by the key here how exactly I can do that so I do the same steps over here again and again so I use a key so let me see how we can put a key over here so first I I just apply it so I have an employee dot sort and I say I need to do the sorting based on the age so I say key equals to lambda lambda x of x of 1 I, I get the result actually now I explain it how exactly it works it works in this way let's say step number one in the step number one what happened it fetch it out each and every element so what are the elements I have I have I don't put it over here I put like this simply Jatin 35 and I say Akash I, why I'm giving this Akash comma 24 I give again Mahesh comma 28 and I give Amit comma 21 okay so this is my step one which is done by the key now step two it apply the function after applying the function we are pulling it out 
x1. So what is x1? In this case it is 35. In this case x of 1. What is this? This is 24, then 28 and then 21. So it fits it out all those. Now what is that? It does the sorting. So step number 3. It does the sorting. So I have 21, 24, 28 and 35. Step number four, it returns the original element associated with this. So what is associated with this 21? I have omit 21. Then followed by 24. What is associated with 24? This much. And this much. And this much. That's perfect. And that's what I am expecting from the program. So this is quite interesting that how we can able to fetch it out multiple values out of it. Okay, so this is a data structure. You can complicate your data structure as much as you want. So once I begin, so this is not yet finished. Uh, this particular video is not yet finished because I haven't completed a complete uh, sorting program. So in a second video of a sort program, I try to discuss in a more complex data structures how to sort it out. And this concept becomes so important for you when you are preparing yourself for a data science. Reason being is because in data science, maximum time you have to find it out top 5, top 10, lower 10, lower 5, top 1, these kind of results. And this sorting will help you out to perform these activities if you are only using Python as your base language. Now, in my second video, I'm going to focus more on this part and I, I focus on how exactly we can try to complicate my data structure and try to sort this up. How we can use other different data structure, not only list, how we can do the sorting with tuple and how we can do the sorting with dictionary and how we can take the maximum benefit out of the sorting concepts and implement in our program. The sorting concept I take in a class and I spend almost two hours on this because this is very, very important thing. This is a very short video, but I just wanted to display it, how exactly it works. So once I record my second video on this particular topic, I come to discuss about more and more concept which is associated with this. Till now, stay tuned and I'm going to discuss about more concept going further and we see how it is going to be beneficial for us. Okay, thank you so much guys for joining me. I see you again with the next video. Thank you so much.